hello everyone welcome back to my channel again today we are seeing a wireless ac voltage detector circuit this is a very easy um, uh, circuit that you can connect uh, or construct sorry not connect construct and it is very reliable also so this circuit uses a darlington pair configuration in triplets means like uh, i'm utilizing a three stage transistor here in which each emitter is passed down to the base of the next transistors and um, it detects the volt ac voltage without any contact that's the main uh, advantage of the circuit and uh, if it is like even uh, away from the power source in one centimeter 1.6 centimeter it can still detect the presence of ac voltage through the method of uh, induction to the copper plate attached to the circuit now let's begin or let's start building the circuit guys let's assemble or let's gather the tools that is required let's switch on our soldering ion and then once it's heat once it's heating up heated up we will just start building the circuit on a general purpose pcb i'm going to use a bc547 transistor and um, you can we can use any npn transistor provided the gain of the transistor is more and let's take a copper sheet like this and then we will cut this out like a like a flat duct mouth shape um, a probe which will be um, increase the sen which will increase the sensitivity let's uh, cut this out into shape once we cut this out we will just uh, use a salt paper to shine it out a bit I just noticed my soldering station got switched off I need to plug that back again so we just cut it in a curved shape so that it's not pointed so even though it is thin it is like a, you can you can scratch yourself easily so I just want to make those edges curved let's use the salt paper and then just uh, give a nice quick little rub on it so that it looks uh, nicer and then we can also easily solder it onto the general purpose PCB So this is the tender purpose that we are going to use for our circuit. So let's assemble the components one at a time. And I think we should go time wrap by now. I don't want to waste your time as usual. So let's go time wrap guys. The video will play a lot quicker. So that we may not spend more time watching on to the assembly. Because it's a very simple basic um, assembly procedure which doesn't involve any components it's just three transistors and one resistor so in the end of the video i will explain how the circuit is working with the help of a circuit diagram so watch till the end of the video guys i'm just fast, fast forwarding this video so that uh, we will uh, see how things are done
once assembled we will clip off the unnecessary leaves and then we will now start soldering after clipping off the unnecessary leaves so it's just a very quick and easy easy circuit i would say even a uh, school student or newcomer can do it so let's solder all these leads as per the circuit and then we will go from there So when soldering any circuits I always prefer to use the soldering flux so it's good it will be good so that we don't get any sort of dry soldering as such we will get a nice shiny um, solder onto the PCBs and to the component slate whenever we use the soldering flux I'll post a separate video on uh, quick tips on so soldering for beginners uh, soon so now our circuit is complete now we will connect the battery terminals for the 9 volt battery so i'm having a little bit of struggle putting on the wires into the pcb holes there so once we have soldered all these then the next step is to take our copper plate or copper plate that we chopped off earlier and then solder it to the base of the first transistor So I am using this kind of copper plate so that it can easily pick up uh, the um, signals in the form of inductions like whenever there is a current alternating current passing through a coil or a wire it will produce a kind of like a little distortion outside that's very very feeble and when it passes on to this copper plate it creates kind of like it can easily pick up the signal that's coming out uh, through the insulation this is something like a capacitance effect i can explain to you in detail um in the upcoming videos about the basic capacitance effect and how it can be utilized in various uh, uh, circuits so this is the assembled circuits i'm just putting a little sticky tape so that um i can uh, stick my 9 volt battery in there so when you when we uh, connect the 9 volt battery here you can see the LED blinks a bit um, it's kind of like it's happening because it's a kind of um, getting the input burst or burst of signals or pulse of signal high pulse signal whenever I'm connecting it so we can eliminate it by using um, a DC capacitor between the um, positive to the ground so that this light won't flicker so um, the circuit is operational as you can see even if I touch it it blinks a bit and then fades out so let's test it out with a on the top of a wire cord power cord so as you can see as soon as I flip the switch on it detects the signal and whenever I take the probe away from the cord you can see the lights goes off so for time being i'm just flicking it off and on to show you guys how it's working so if you see when i'm taking this probe away from the cord the light goes off virtually this is it guys let's look into the circuit operation how it's working 
So guys, if we look at the circuit, I have connected a 9 port battery and I have connected a 1 kilo ohm resistor uh, in series and this resistor will act as a load resistor and it will protect the transistors connected all over the place and the LED as well. So this 1 kilo ohm resistor I have connected acts as a load resistor. Now coming into the operation of the circuit, this copper plate is capable is is like it will pick up the electromagnetic induction even if it's like a small electromagnetic induction um, it gets picked up by this copper plate basically kind of a capacitance effect and then what happens is that it is fed to the base of the first transistor and how do you think the transistor is uh, capable of driving this small current or electric electromagnetic induction of current that is coming through the base of this transistor. Each transistor has something called beta and this beta is nothing but the gain of the transistor and what happens is that whatever current whatever whatever voltage or current is fed through this base is amplified beta times this transistor possesses like sometimes the beta will be like 500 and if it is like a small pulse that we get here or feeble current we get here is amplified 500 times with the first stage and say for example and then what happens is that it is getting fed to this um, base uh, base of the second transistor and this transistor will again have a will again have a beta on its own which is specified by uh, by the manufacturer and say for example we get a 500 microampere here and if it is having a gain of 500 then it is multiplied by 500 ampere into 500 again so at the end somewhere here we will we'll be having somewhere around 5 million to drive the transistor so if you give a small wiggle here that is multiplied beta times that is that is multiplied by the gain of the transistor and it is amplified here in the emitter collector the emitter it is amplified here and then this amplified current is fed to the trans second transistor which will again get amplified beta times by the second stage transistor and then it is fed to the third stage transistor and this is what happens you guys should know it once it reaches this uh, third transistor it is having sufficient amount of current to drive the LED that is connected across the collector of the circuit and this is how it is working and this is the, this is the basics of how it works and we have commercial we have commercial uh, 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 commercial equipments uh, which cost like 10 or 20 or 25 dollars but you can build all this together within a within a three to four dollars excluding the battery so this is just a simple explanation of how the circuit works and you can build this up and if you have any questions you can always comment on uh, the comment section so that i can reply you in in private as well so this is about it guys do uh, thanks for watching and do like and share and comment your comment gives me more motivation to do more videos and please do stay safe guys see you in next video and thanks again for watching